Nano Banana, the new AI model by Google, is currently taking the internet by storm, and with good reason. It can generate 3D models on 2D plans with remarkable likeness, all for just text and a reference. It can even take simple images, such as Google Earth screenshots, to create clean isometric views, which can then be transformed into actual 3D models. This is a real competitor to Flux Context Max and ChatGPT. And what separates it out from other models is that it's currently free to try out. I'll be focusing on how to create clean 3D diagrams, visuals, and models in this video. Get started with this. Go over to AI Studio, sign into it, or make a Gmail account first. And there are a few terms that you need to agree to. On the top right, make sure that Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Preview is selected. This is the official name for the Nano Banana model. So make sure that you use this. And then you are ready to go. This is also multimodal, meaning you don't need to use just text, but you can upload all sorts of other media too. There is a token count at the top right, which shows the limit for the current conversation. So the text and references you use have a token count. As you can see here, this text sentence has 16 tokens. If you reach the limit, just simply start a new conversation. Let's get started by taking a reference image from Google Earth to create a 3D model. Best to set the base map to clean to remove all the labels. I will choose this block in Barcelona as it is very detailed and complex. I'm using the snipping tool just to grab a screenshot of a good angle. Then I go over back to Nano Banana and I'll paste this image and enter. Use this provided image of an architectural block in Barcelona as a reference to create a high quality 3D background. Then add some details and then write show a view from an isometric with a white background. And then within about 10 seconds, I have this very similar block but removed from a messy context. It even has the trees and dark shadows removed, and then all the other missing details have been very accurately recreated. Really quite incredible. And with such a clean isometric model, you can easily take this into an AI 3D generation model. Here I'm using Honeyone 2.5 as it creates excellent results from one image. And after one minute, we have the Google Earth block fully recreated with all the details. Even the complex roof levels have come in. Only the interior courtyard is lacking some details as we didn't provide a reference model for the courtyard. The more references you add, the more details you get. If we go to the model view, you can even see all the wonderful details of the window recesses. Another exciting feature of this AI model is the ability to create very convincing 3D models from 2D plans. Here I'm using a real plan of an elementary school designed by Daz Office. If you include just the plans and no details, make sure you add a clear description of the materials and sizes. Otherwise, you can just add other images to illustrate what materials you want. In this case, I'll add an external image and ask the AI model to transform this into a 3D isometric cutaway plan with a white background using these two as a reference. What surprised me is that it picked up all these voids in the wall and has done a convincing job at adding the furniture. Now you'll have to take this model with a pinch of salt as you can see that sometimes sections are missing and there are inaccuracies. For example, you can see that some extra rooms have been added where in the plan there should be empty spaces. So you need to pay attention, iterate over with the model, or use in-painting upscaling to fix this. So it is a bit hit and miss sometimes. You can also see that there's some strange things happening, like trees in the wrong places and not all the rooms cut. But this can be easily iterated through. So you can just type in the changes you want. And now the trees are gone and the room is cut through. There are still some number annotations which I don't want. So I can ask to remove these two. This method also works well for 3D roof plans. But you don't need to cut away. And you would like to include some complex forms. Here I'm using the botanical garden design by DARP. And I fed the model a similar prompt. The greenhouses are looking very slick. But what's interesting is that all these have been populated with trees. 
and make it more realistic. The surrounding landscape looks very convincing too. This would be great for architectural diagrams. There's no need to spend hours photoshopping. To show a few more examples, you can take famous landmarks from around the world and create new models, diagrams and perspectives with ease. Here I'll fly to New York to visit Little Island, spin around and take a few screenshots. The more references you can give the model, the more accurate the image generations and consistency will be. And since we are in New York, I'll also go over to the Vessel landmark and take some screenshots of this as well. I'll drop these two screenshots from different angles and ask to create an architectural wooden 3D model from an isometric view. Here we have quite a playful wooden model of Little Island with these model-like trees included. Banana Banana is great at creating different styles while maintaining the object consistency. Once again, you can see the accuracy is not at 100%, as you can see there are some like terraced areas made up in the corner. Then finally, let's take the three images of the vessel and try to make a realistic cutout model with no background and mess from the Google Earth. And this has actually done an excellent job at removing the background. Even between the staircases, all this mess has been removed. So it really depends on what input images you use. And finally, to show you that this is not restricted to just real plans and images, you can generate your own image or sketch and ask to transform it into a 3D isometric view from above within a cubed volume. You can see it's taken my prompt and it has transformed that render into a rationalized cubed shape are keeping the main style. It's all been rationalized. And this is quite easy now to bring over into Hanyuan and transform it into 3D. All the organic window recesses have been brought out. This could be a great starting point for the form finding process. From this clean and rationalized view, you can create many more useful drawings. An obvious starting point would be to create all the elevations. And look at that, it has cleanly labelled and arranged all the elevations. The only issue is the strange glass windows. But that is because the original reference image actually had these wonky windows, and the model was just following my instructions. But these could be removed and commented out. You could also try adding more details such as annotations and levels. However, I found this to be very unsuccessful. No matter how much I prompted it, the numbers didn't make any sense. Let's try and create a typical floor plan instead. This is much more successful. It has realistically placed the core and sensibly arranged the rooms. Although it is one desk per room, and I could have asked maybe for an open plan layout instead. Although of course there are plenty of mistakes within this plan. But you can see that the elevations are showing the wavy facade, so it does keep track of the original design. I have just scratched the surface of what is possible with Nano Banana. In the next video, I will take a look at how you can make full architectural drawings and presentation from just one reference. I'll see you there.